Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. You join us on a beautiful August afternoon, and we have got the equally gorgeous Katie on camera, the long-suffering Katie. Say hello, Katie. Hello. Bit of a uh, Shakespeare Sonnet 18 there, comparing you to a summer's day. I'll get on with it. Okay. Right then, what we are doing today is we are getting some cyclamen seeds on the go. It's the end of August and our cyclamen are starting to come into flower. Katie, spin in and show the people these beautiful, beautiful plants. They live for a hundred years. You can stick them next to your wall. You know, you don't need a flower bed for these. You just stick them in the ground and they look after themselves and they are gorgeous. These are not the same things that you buy in the shops in B&Q and Home Base around Christmas time. These are wild outdoor cyclamen and they come in so many different colours. These are hedifolium. Over here as well, Katie, hedifolium, apart from one here, which is a different one. Um, these are all in flower at this time of year. These are the ones that are our late um, summer flowerers. Then we also have this one here. This is a graecum. This comes from Greece. Um, I, I look at the elegance of that. I mean, there's such beautiful, beautiful things. And you can see the, un, the, the undone, uh, the, sorry, the closed flower buds. They look like little umbrellas. And when they open up, they do this thing where the petals just flip back on each other, like this. I've got a time-lapse camera. I've got to get a time-lapse camera on these so I can get it speeded up so we can actually see it. I did the same thing on an agapanthus, agapanthus back there, got the time-lapse camera on that and filmed it opening, um, you know, sped up so you can actually see the thing opening. I've got the times wrong with it and so I've got a film of an agapanthus opening that's 25 minutes long, and I don't think anyone could really endure that. But anyway, back to the cyclamen. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna get the seeds on the go. The seeds of the cyclamen are covered with a sugary hormone. This does two things. It stops the seed from germinating, and it also attracts insects. So the sugary coating will be sensed by ants and uh, little wasps and things that like sugary stuff, and believe me, once these things start to seed and shed their seeds, you get ants everywhere and these ants will carry them off and they'll lick off this sugary coating and they'll leave the seed, the seed will germinate and this is a way that the plant spreads itself. Everything in nature is not a unit on its own, it's all connected in the most fantastic way to everything around it and this is a good example of this. So to get our seeds to germinate we first need to get rid of this uh, sugary hormone. It's there in nature so that um, these come from around the Mediterranean Sea and then the end of summer they're going to be waiting for the rains to start to, um, to germinate. So a way of doing this is the seed is covered in the sugary hormone, the rain comes along, it washes off the sugary hormone and the seed can then germinate because it hasn't been inhibited by the sugary hormone. Have I gone on long enough about this sugary hormone? Yes, I have. So we have to wash it off. Now I've got three different types of seed here that I'm going to be um, starting off today and I'm going to do this in real time because we're going to soak these for 24 hours now in a soapy solution we are going to wash them off tomorrow night and put them in a clean solution and then the night after that we're going to do something else with them but um, you're going to have to wait and see what that is later. I did a video about this about three years ago and um, so anyway Katie if you'd like to spin in here we have some Sikman Coam seeds. Now these are the winter flowering ones that are just coming into all of them just coming into leaf now. Katie show the people this one here they've got the round sort of kidney shaped leaves like this rather than the ivy shaped leaves and their leaves come up first and then you get the flowers later on sort of around Christmas time right up until March and here I have another one and these are seeds from a head of folium like this but they've got pointy leaves and you can't guarantee you're going to get the same plant from um, the, the seed from the, the parent plant but you know at least one of the parents has had pointy leaves because you're getting the seed from the mother there and so you know that You've got a high chance of getting some pointy leaves, so I'm going to stick a few of those into this bowl here. Just a few like that. And then finally, I've got some graecum seeds. Now these are a lot, lot larger. The seeds are all different sizes, I'll show you in a minute. And these are seeds that have come from this here, the sixth month graecum. They're not quite as tough as these, the, the, the coems and the hedifoliums. They can go outside in the UK, they can go down to about minus 15, it's not a problem. They'll survive it fine. However, the grey comes, you're better off keeping that in an unheated greenhouse. They don't like getting too cold. I've had that one in here for several years. Um, it's not heated in here. It does freeze, but it seems to be all right. But it hasn't got as cold as it gets outside. And there, we put a few grey cum seeds in here. And as you can see, the grey cum seeds are quite large things. And these little coem seeds here, 
tiny little weeny things, and the hedifoliums are just sort of something that's in the middle. Now, one thing we definitely need to do at this point is label it, because you'll forget. I always forget. Put those there. And so what I'm going to do is, head a pointy leaf, that was that one. Coem pure white, it's a special one this one, that one. And our Graycomb seeds there. And so we're going to give them a bit of a soak in a mild soapy solution. So you get a jug of water like that, just tap water, perfectly all right. Make sure your jug's clean. And then a drip, just like that. That's all we need. What this will do is, this will break down the surface tension of the water. And so it will be able to penetrate that seed a little bit better and rehydrate it if it's dried out a little. At this time of year, the seeds are fresh, so they don't need much rehydration, but um, it's always good to do. Here we are. Right, and then I'm just gonna tip it in. Show the people, Kenny. There we go. Uh, there we are. Two and three. And there we go. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit more in that one. I'm gonna take those home and uh, keep them in my kitchen overnight, and we'll do another little video tomorrow night as to what to do next with them. Cyclamen are a plant, I don't know, they require patience, but it's more than that. It's more than that. These plants can teach us a lot of stuff. For a start, they can live for a hundred years. So getting these seeds going, some of these plants may completely outlive me. They may, be, and for me, that's, that's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. They can outlive us. They also have a different way of looking at time. They perceive time in a very different way. All plants do this, trees, etc. They, they have a, a sense of time, like we do, but it's on a different scale. So it's not so much as us having to be patient with the plants, it's us having to sort of think on their time scale. Because these seeds may take several months to germinate, but they will in the end. Anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix, down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Katie on camera. If you've been trying to get hold of me over the last few weeks, um, Sincere apologies, um, I'm starting to get onto all my messages and things again now. Just give me another text or a message. And uh, Katie, thanks again for so much for um, putting up with me over the last month or so. Anyway, it's Robbie Phoenix, Katie on camera, Dan at Stinky Ditch Nursery, just showing you how to get your six minutes going. Thanks for watching.